Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the Poundland makeup. Um, I got, I think it was like 24 items, uh, which is obviously £24. <laughs> um, so I'm going to review all of their makeup. I literally grabbed like one of everything that I could. Uh, this is the look that I come up with. There were a few hits and a few misses. Um, if you'd like to see what they were, then just keep on watching. But before you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like this sort of video. Let's get into it. Okay, so I have nothing on my skin. Um, I do have my little bunny ears. Or are these cat ears? I have some ears on. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just going to jump straight in. I'm just going to empty this big old bag onto my desk. Um, so then we can see what we've got. Okay. So there wasn't a primer. Um, so we'll just skip that step. So their foundation um, is called Makeup Gallery Gorgeous Flawless Long Lasting Foundation with UVA UVB filters. No idea. This was the lightest shade that I could find and this was in the Warm Ivory 2. So I have no idea. I put some like a small amount of fake tan on. So hopefully it will match. I'm just going to chuck it straight into my brush I think. And see what, Oh, Oh, it's very like moussey. So it's quite thick. Ooh. Doesn't really smell. Oh. This is very thick. Oh, it's like really sculpty. I think I've put too much on. This is the patchiest and the streakiest thing I've ever seen. This is not working whatsoever. Um, I picked up one of their sponges. So let me just go and wet this and we'll see if that will work instead of this brush because it is not working. <laughs> okay, this sponge feels really, really soft now. I just wet it and it's kind of, it's got quite a lot bigger and it's really bouncy so Let's try that instead. This foundation is an absolute flop. But this foundation is dog poo. Like literally dog poo. Like it doesn't even look like there's anything there. It just, that is so poo. Like I have a little friend, still there, still chilling. I don't even want to drink it down, it's just minging. Okay, so that's a flop, but the sponge is not. That is really nice, I really like that, really bouncy. Um, this is where I get a bit scared because they didn't have a liquid concealer, they only had like a crayon. Probably should have unwrapped all of this before we started. Too excited so this is the shade ivory one and it was all wrapped up and you couldn't even see what the color was doesn't say anywhere like doesn't see the shade okay that's not a bad shade I don't normally like cream concealer now so I don't know how this is gonna work oh god I need my mirror I'm just going to use the sponge again and just going to use the other side. I really like this sponge. Coverage isn't great. It's still not covering up anything. But I mean, it has made it a little, little bit brighter. So that's done nothing. It's literally not working out so far, is it? Okay, um, I got a pressed powder. This is just the Smoothly Does It Pressed Powder. And this is the colour. This is translucent one, which I'm hoping is translucent because that's pretty light. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. Not awful, but 
quite difficult to tell with a translucent powder. Like I wasn't exactly oily to start with, so I don't know. Um, okay, and then they've got a bronzer. This one looks quite promising actually. This is called the Good to Glow Bronze Shimmer, which I don't actually mind a bronzer with a bit of shimmer in. So this is what it looks like. I really like the look of it. I hope it's good. I'm just going to take my Duo Fiber brush. I like this one. Yeah, this is okay. It's quite a nice colour. It's not too dark. And you know sometimes with like products if they've got like shimmer and it's just like the first layer. It's not. It's all the way through. That's nice. Yes. Yes, bronzer. That is a hit. Okay, and then I got a blush. This is just called Feeling Blush and it's the shade Soft Blush 1. This is like a really nice colour blush. I did get a cream blush, but I'm not really into that. So I'm going to skip that. This looks really, really nice. It's like a mauve pinky colour. Or is it mauve? I don't know how you say it. So I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks. And this is a matte blush. Very natural. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, Avi. Right, and then contour. I got a couple, I think. So you've got Define and Conquer Medium 2, and then Define and Conquer Light 1. Um, I don't know which one's going to be best. Let's try the light one. And to see what happens and then if it's not dark enough we'll use the other one a bit warm though um i'll give it a go see what see what it's like Ooh, is it picking up anything oh that's really warm Ugh. i do not like that Let's try the other one. The other one looks a little bit cooler. That one is so orangey. Cool. Right, so this is the second one. So we'll just try that one instead. I mean, it's a bit better, but still not the warmest, uh, the coolest of contours. It's kind of looking a little bit muddy. A little bit orange. Hmm. Um, okay, so I've got a highlighter. Good to glow. Pearl Shimmer. It's quite a big pan, which is quite cool. Um, but it looks kind of grey. Oh, no. Does not look like a highlighter. We shall see. I'm just going to pick some up on a brush. Anything? It looks really grey, doesn't it? Oh, goodness. I have an idea. They had, instead of eyeshadow palettes, they had eyeshadow crayons. But there's like a white one and like a kind of pearly pinky one. So I'm thinking maybe try and use them as a cream highlighter instead. And I'm just going to I'm gonna just draw some on my finger. Nope, that does nothing. Come on. I need some glow. This is such a disaster. <laughs> okay, like it's a bit better than the actual highlight, but but not really. <laughs> okay, moving on. This is not going well. I've got two options for eyebrows. 
I've got, where is it? Um, eyebrow pencil. So we've got eyebrow pencil in brown two, which looks okay. Or we've got like a little quad, which is called All About the Brow Eyebrow Kit. And there's no other shades. It's just a one for all type thing. Oh, that's like a shimmer in here. Maybe I could use that for highlight. Yes. So I'm going to use this little white shade here. It's like the smallest pan. Yes. Here we go. We have some glow. That rhymed. I'm not even mad about it. <laughs> yes. Here we go. Okay, so we either use the pencil or we use the powder. I'm not sure. I might try the pencil out first. Like maybe at the tail end. And then see if we need... The lighter colours at the front, maybe. Okay. Okay, that's the tail end. It's not the best, but I mean, it's not the worst. It's not the most creamiest pencil, and it's quite difficult to get a sharp line. So I'm going to finish the front of my brow with the powder. Okay, this will have to do. I'm just going to use the 322 Zoeva brush. Uh, I'm going to use the brown, like the darkest brown. This one's more like black, so I'm going to use this one. And try and do the front of my whoa kick back and a half. Why am I thinking that's a mirror? <sighs> ah, I've not even had a drink. Right. That is not too bad. I'm just gonna do the exact same on the other brow just to speed things up. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done my other brow. I'm actually quite happy with them. Um, so let's move on to the eyes. So as I said, they only have eye crayons and they only have these three. Um, so this one is called Pearl Sheen. The one we tried to use as a highlight it didn't really work. This one is called Antique Gold. And this one is called, I think it's Frost. Frost Shimmer. So they're all kind of shimmery colours. Um, so I might just use like one of the contour shades just to warm up the crease just to start with rather than put in shimmer everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to use my 228 brush and I'm going to take the light one contour colour and I'm going to put it in the crease and see what I so this isn't bad for a transition colour actually. It's better for this than it is to contour. <laughs> and do you know what I might do? I might use one of the eyebrow colours. Because they're darker. I can hardly find any of my brushes for some reason. So I'm going to use um, this smaller brush. This is the 230 brush. And I'm going to use the same colour we used on our eyebrows, I think. This one. And I'm going to put it on the outer corner. Just to darken it up a bit. I'm just going to place it. And then I'll go back and blend it. If I can find my brush. Where did I put it? Sure. <laughs> I think I'm going to use like the antique gold one. So it's quite nice. Here it is. I don't know if it winds. Oh, it does. 
Oh, you get quite a lot of product. That's not bad. Okay. Let's wind it down before I break it. I'm just going to put this on the lid and see what happens. Um, okay. I just want to go in with that smaller pencil brush and blend out the edge. Let's put some on the inner corner. Should we use the white one? No, it's probably too much. Let's use the pearly one. And that's not great, is it? It's like really pink, isn't it? Ugh. If in doubt, wing it out. We have got a liner. This is the Makeup Gallery Pro Liquid Eyeliner Pro. What's the brush like? I'm really nervous. Oh, okay. It looks really, uh, why is it square on the end? It's not even pointing. Look at this. It looks super runny. Oh dear. Wish me luck. Wow, that is super black. That's so good. brush isn't the easiest. I mean, look at this. Like, it's just not pointing. I'm just going to do the other one and I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so I've done my other wing and I've just remembered I've got this glitter. So I thought I would use this on top, maybe. Uh, this is the Chic Flick Eyeliner. And is there a colour? Mm, did I rip it off? Let's just say it's called silver. That's a better brush. Let's have a little go on E then. Yes. Like I probably would use that again. Okie dokes. So, mascara. I picked up two. I don't really know why. Um, one's a volume mascara and one's a lengthening mascara. So I might just do the volume in one because we've got some lashes. So, oh, that's the brush. That's the other one I like. That's the brush. What are these brushes? Right, let's just try the original one. It doesn't look very wet, which I quite like because it gets everywhere when they're so wet. Gets everywhere. I'm going to leave that. These are a bit of a, a, bit of a miss for me. Um, so these are the lashes. Um, and they're just literally called false lashes. Um, you get two pairs in there with some glue, which I'm not going to use. <laughs> I don't trust one pound glue on my eyeballs. Um, so I'm going to use my own duo glue. I've literally made like the biggest mess. 
You wouldn't even believe it. Okay. So I've cut my lash to size. They're really like flimsy. They're kind of like moulding themselves to a different shape. Which is not helpful. Um, okay, let's give this one a go. That would literally have to do because I don't know, they're a bit funny. Uh, they're probably not the, the worst lash I've ever used, but hey ho. Okay, so well, I guess the last thing is lips. Okay, I've got a few options for lips. I feel like these are going to pop off any second. Okay, so I've got this um, moisture lipstick. This is the shade Perfectly Nude. And this looks quite nice, actually. Um, I've got a... They didn't have many lip liners. I've got this one. It's called Pout It Out in the shade... Brown 3. Um, I don't know if that's going to be any good. And then I got these three. Um, I thought this one was a liquid lipstick. But it says it's a lip gloss. Intense colour shine lip gloss. Um, and this is the shade Nice and Nude. This one is more of a glittery one which is called Cranberry Crush. And then I got like a clear glittery one called... I took off the doodah. Oh, that was clever. I'm clearly rubbish at this today. Um, so I'm going to try and line my lips with this. And see what happens. Ow. No chance. No. I'm sorry, that is so scratchy. That has literally felt like a knife on my lip. Okie dokie. Um, okay, let's try. I really want to see what this one's like on its own. Or should I just swatch it first? I don't know. It just oh, it's really like gloopy, like a lipstick, uh, like a lip gloss. So I'm gonna put the lipstick on. Let's see what this is like. Are you joking me? What is that? What is that? It feels like some nasty lip balm. Ew. Nope. Nope. <laughs> so let's use this thing. Okay, this is better. That's actually quite nice. Uh, doesn't taste it. not awful these lashes though it tastes like proper cheap makeup it's probably as good as we're gonna get great okay this is the finished look guys um, so the only things that I thought were quite good were really kind of the face products so like the blusher that was nice the bronzer love that Press powder was okay, um, and then the glitter liner, loved that, and the brow products, and the sponge. Other than that, all of the lip products fail, uh, all the eye stuff really fail. Mascara, no. The black liner, no. The crayons, hell no. <laughs> Um, and then the lashes, I mean, they're okay, but they're a bit flimsy and you can kind of tell that they're cheap. Um, and that's pretty much it. The lip liner was awful. Um, so, yeah, bit of a mixture. Some of it is okay. I would definitely use the sponge again. This is so nice. It's so, like, squidgy and bouncy. It's nice. Um, so, yeah, that was my review on the Poundland makeup. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Rocket lolly! Rocket lolly! <laughs>